It's Monday, October 19th, and I'm about to hit the road for Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm getting gas, and then I'm going to get on the freeway. Hopefully, it won't be too crowded, um, and I'll be able to make it up there in probably less than an hour. We'll have to see. And I'm going to renew my annual pass so I can get discounts at the shops and restaurants. I know the park itself is closed, but City Walk is open, and supposedly all the restaurants and shops. So we're going to go find out. I'm just arriving here at Universal City and it looks very, very empty. It only took, well, it took less than an hour to get here. So traffic is not bad at all on Mondays. So Mondays is definitely the day to come, I guess. Anyway, um, it looks like this is general parking this way. So I'm going into the Jurassic parking, which is my favorite. So I'm so happy. Here we are. Wow. Looks, there's a few cars here, but mostly empty. This is good. Well, I guess good time to come on a Monday. So you can see the parking is every other spot. So this is pretty good. I like this because my car is so wide. I like parking every other spot. So this is the entrance. You come in back over this way by what used to be Tony Romas. There's Johnny Rockets. So this is, they kind of leave you off here in the middle. But I am going to go all the way down to the movie theater and start from that end and then come back up this way. So here's a few people here. Bubba Gump, a little bit busy. I have to figure out where I'm gonna eat. So it's kind of what I expected. There really aren't that many people here. Looks like Wasabi is closed, which that was one of the places I was thinking about eating. So Wasabi's closed, Blaze Pizza's closed. Wow, everything's closed down this way, it looks like. I gotta go check out the movie theater. That's what I'm really curious about. And the movie theaters are open in orange, so. There's the movie poster for Candyman. It's supposed to come out in June. Then we've got this one that was supposed to come out in November, I think. Yeah, Seoul. So they have some movie posters that almost look like they're hoping they can open soon. I mean, there's other AMC theaters open, but yeah, this one is definitely closed down. Looks like they've got cleaning solutions and stuff in there, so maybe they're preparing. They are preparing. They're getting ready for it. The comic book store is open. There's nobody inside, but <laughs> it's open. They have a lot of cute collectibles and things like that. Well, I'm glad to see it's open. Maybe more people come here at night, I'm guessing. Wetzel's closed, Margaritaville closed. I think it's open on weekends. Samba Brazilian Steakhouse closed. Yeah, everything's closed down on this end. Oh, wait a minute, the sports store, the Raiders is open. And Nike looks like they're open. Now this might be a good place to come. Surprisingly, Buca de Peppo is open. Huh, wonder if people are sitting outside. Oh, I think it's just to go maybe. Hmm, interesting. Just totally empty. This is a pretty weird thing to be here like this. The last time I was here, I think it was about a year ago, it was packed. And you come to City Walk and it was so busy. Plus I came for Halloween Horror Nights. It was really packed. Voodoo Donuts is open. That's the reason to come right there. <laughs> Nobody. Okay, first time I've not seen a huge line. Like downtown Disney, they are doing temperature checks. It was pretty quick and easy, but very similar to what they're doing at Downtown Disney. Of course, Downtown Disney is a lot more crowded than this. Hmm. It could just be because it's Monday. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully they get a lot of other business the rest of the week. I'm headed down to the Universal Studios store. 
that's what I'm really looking forward to. This is pretty depressing. <laughs> I'm not sure I can come back here again. It's really sad without the theme park. It's like the theme park really is what makes this place special. Without the theme park, it's just really, really sad. Oh, totally empty. Normally it'd be Halloween Horror Nights right now. This is so sad. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say about this. This is very, very sad. Let's go see if we can see inside. Oh, the fountain is going. You can see the magic inside. Oh wait, there's some people in there doing something. Maybe there's hope. <laughs> Maybe there's hope it would all open soon. I see quite a bit of people in there. Wonder what that means. Maybe they're filming something. Oh, look at that. You get right up to the gate. Look right in. Oh, I want to go inside. Hello, Universal Studios. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hmm. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Remember to wash your hands with soap and water often for at least 20 seconds. We appreciate your cooperation and understanding during this unprecedented time. Thanks again, and welcome to Universal City Walk Hollywood. This is the reason I am here, is this door. So it looks like this door is open. This is the Universal Studios store, and they have you wait in line. You can see they have these stickers, and luckily, there's no one in line, so it looks like I'll be able to go right in. Okay, now this is cheering me up. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Now things feel a little bit better. Harry Potter. This is really cool, this area. So here's what I bought. First of all, I got this little bag for $2. Then I got this owl, which I'm obsessed with owls right now. So I'm super excited to get him. And he was like a total good deal. It was only $18.95. I thought that was a really good price for him. He's adorable. And then I got, let's see what else. 
chocolate frog. <laughs> I'm reading the Harry Potter book right now, so chocolate frog. And inside it contains one milk chocolate shaped frog and five wizard cards. So five cards. It was kind of expensive, it was $25, but this is like a metal box, so I'm hoping it'll last a while. And then I got a Hedwig magnet here, which I just love her, and I have a puppet of her, so I definitely wanted that. And I think that's pretty much it. So I, they did apply my discount, and so I was pretty happy about that, and that saved me 15%. So. Anyway, I'm very excited. I'm glad that the store was open. Um, it's kind of depressing here, like I said before, but you know, at least the, they're doing something. At least the store is here and hopefully the park will open soon. I've got my pass ready to go now. I think actually I'm just gonna head on out. Um, there's just not that much going on and I saw the entrance and I shopped and I did kind of what I wanted to do. And otherwise I just, probably won't come back until the park is open. <laughs> when the park is open, I will be back for sure. But until then, I'm not seeing a reason to drive up here. Um, most of these shops you can find other places or they're closed or it's just kind of sad. So <laughs> I will be back when Universal Studios opens. Until then, I will keep it in my mind and I will have my little owl friend to keep me company and hopes for the future.